He's had to use his beauty. In fact, here he is. And Giants, look at that face full of determination. And she goes, oh, she's not. With a solid steal and sex appeal. Chung tries to score, but it's full engineer from Cardiff who faced Chung in the heat. Right, I'm struggling today. I didn't want to talk about it, but... Pulled up with Chung. Yes, there you go! Well, this was an interesting episode to talk about. After a week's break, we were back with the second semi-final of Gladiators and a few little bits of controversy. Stick around to find out more. Now, who the hell is Tina? The first game was Jewel, and Wesley's a big lad, so I was expecting a battle for Giant in this one, and he sure got just that. Wesley gave Phantom a hard time in the previous round than Jewel, and this time he nearly got some points. It was Giant's hardest match by far. It probably lasted longer than all of his other matches put together. He knocked him off with one second to spare, but here was the controversy. In the future, I'll be going into more depth about the various games and their individual issues. Right now, all I can say is that there must have been a rule change. He clearly touched down, so that should have been the game. I think Giant fought that too by his reaction. Do you think he should have been disqualified? Let us all know in the comments. Barnick had no problems against Chong. Kerry managed to stay up against Fire and Dynamite knocked Mary Louise off after having a little trouble. Chong had Nitro chasing them up the wall. He's the only person to have beaten him not once, not twice, but thrice. Nitro must be sick of the sight of him, especially from that angle. Still did a good job catching Wesley about halfway up. Dynamite almost caught her contender. At one point, she had hold of her shoelaces and Diamond's contender also made it up to the top. Legend struggled on the edge at the start. Wesley got across a few times before he managed to knock him off. Then Legend announced some tragic news afterwards. The only reason Wes got past me up there is because my rabbit died this morning. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. What was your rabbit's name? Tina. <laughs> My mum's name, Tina. Hawks. Apollo just wasn't having it with Chung's speed. He knocked him flying in seven seconds. I think he upstaged legend here during and after the game. It was always going to be tough when you come up against a guy who's six foot five, 17 stone, <laughs> made a solid steal and sex appeal. Too fast to be last, too strong to be wrong. Hey. And he's always ready to get the game on. So for the thousands of people here tonight, and the millions watching at home, if you want it, come and get it. <laughs> Sable was up against Kerry. This means the semi-finals will obviously switch rude. The bruise I saw on the picture of her hamstring would have been keeping her out for a while. Kerry pushed Sable off and ran on for maximum points. Diamond didn't give many chances to her contender, Murray Louise, who got across once. Powerball was a low point in this show because of this. Chong could not continue, and for a second I thought they were going to say Jake. But no, it was Matt, a contender from an earlier round as the substitute. They restarted the game with 43 seconds left. Matt didn't manage to score anything and Wesley scored twice against Apollo, Phantom and Steel. Fury, Athena and Dynamite kept the score low, but their contenders seemed to have fun. The gauntlet remained. Wesley glided past Viper, Nitro, Phantom and Giant without any problems. There was more controversy here when Giant pushed Matt out of the course. Matt, because you deliberately left the gauntlet in the last section, you will repeat the last section. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Did he say deliberately then? Oh, this is contentious. I think it's the right call, but use of the word deliberately? Come on, Mark. You try and stay in the gauntlet when you've got Giant pushing against you. That was a strange ruling that didn't actually mean anything. They just started again. Do you think the ref is showing a little bit too much bias towards the gladiators? Comment your thoughts. Anyway, he got through when the game restarted. Both Kerry and Mary Louise got through to claim maximum points against Electro, Athena, Dynamite and Diamond. With no Chong, Matt found himself at the Eliminator against Wesley. They both started at the same time and the lead switched back and forth at the start. Matt climbed really well on the net and took a clear lead only to mess up on the balance beam. Wesley beat the Travelator and Matt by crashing through first and straight into the finals. You're a champ, mate, and you're in the final. <sighs> Let's go, baby! Yes! There you go! There you go! That's what we want to see, Wes! Congratulations! 
The female eliminator was a done and dusted deal with Kerry starting nine seconds before Mary Louise. Kerry is strong, so it should have been no problems for her. If it wasn't for that pesky travelator, she would have got through. However, it was not to be when she crashed down twice. Mary Louise came back strong and steady, eventually getting up and through the finishing paper into the finals. So here was another controversy, and it was about the travelator. You've probably heard this one throughout the years, that some people think that it might be getting slowed down or sped up for various people, depending on what the producers think and who the producers would like to get through to the final. Now, I'm not too sure either way, and... I'm sure a few people will check it out and go a little bit further, but all I can say is that there's no such shenanigans in any of the games regarding the gladiators themselves, just to make that clear. Mary Louise, you are a finalist on Gladiators! I can't believe it! <laughs> so well done to Wesley and Mary Louise for getting through to the final. It was very hard luck on Chong getting injured and not being able to continue, and Giant almost got beaten on the jaw. And a little bit of favouritism, maybe, with the referee in, got him through and kept him his record. Now, for the finals, we've got Finley against Wesley. And if Wesley gets in front at the start of the Eliminator, then he's got a chance. If not, I don't think he'll have much chance. And then we've got Bronte against Mary Louise. And my money is on Bronte. So let's wait and see until the finals. Let me know who you think is going to win, who's going to be crowned. Gladiators 2024 winner. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.